It's Asia's premium book event. Now in its 25th edition, the Hong Kong Book Fair presents its most international author lineup yet. With celebrated British writers Lawrence Osborne and Susan Barker. American journalist Barbara Demick shared her award-winning book, Nothing to Envy, filled with compelling stories of ordinary people who escaped North Korea. One story that many people have found moving is of a woman doctor. She was hungry and she came out of North Korea. She saw on the pavement a bowl of rice with some scraps of meat. And then she realized at that moment, in religious terms, it would be called an epiphany, that this was for the dog. And she said she realized then that dogs in China ate better than doctors in North Korea. And furthermore, she realized that her whole life was a lie. Everything she'd been told was a lie. Japanese novelist Kyoko Nakajima also wrote about turbulent times in The Little House, which centers on life leading up to and during the Second World War. The period is um, very much related to the time we, we live now. So I think we should understand the time. I'm glad to know uh, the readers in other countries um, felt sympathy towards the characters in the book. I'm very honored to be invited to this program and I hope many people could buy my book. <laughs> Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, the fair has been featuring noted international authors and English books in recent years. At the International Cultural Village, more than 20 countries and regions showcased their literature, including first-time exhibitors from Colombia, Israel, Kazakhstan and Saudi Arabia. Interest in French literature has also grown as China and France celebrate 50 years of diplomatic ties. French best-selling writer David Frankinos was in town to meet his growing fan base. I'm very lucky I travel a lot for, for a book, but I think in my mind I never saw a book fair as big as here. It's really uh, impressive to see how people seem to like books here. We have to come here. It seems to be a really uh, particular experience, uh, especially for European writers. Renowned authors from the Chinese literary world also impressed readers. There was Pai Xinyong, who wrote about his love for Kunchu Opera, one of the oldest forms of Chinese opera. Acclaimed Taiwanese author Li Ao returned to the Hong Kong Book Fair with a seminar co-hosted with his son Li Kan. Yang Geling too caused quite a stir. Her novel was adapted by film director Zhang Yimao, who produced the box office hit Coming Home. I'm a movie goer and I'm a reader, so both. I love uh, these uh, two medias um, equally. But I think now it looks like the movies that based on my books uh, are the advertisements for my books. I think they're uh, uh, coordinators. In America, is the actually now it is similar. People who watch the movie and uh, usually go back to the bookstores to find the book. Local writers also had a chance to shine at the book fair. Author of the Year, Dong Kai Cheng, hosted three Full House public sharing sessions. His works were also on show for readers at an exhibition at the fair's art gallery. Another interactive display was The Hong Kong Story, a century of books, which told the story of how publishing evolved in the city. More than 300 cultural events have been scheduled during the week-long fair. The wide range of activities and books on offer promises to make this year's Hong Kong Book Fair a highlight of the summer. <laughs>